Hello YouTubers. Welcome back friends. Hope you all had a good Christmas. Here it is the 25th day after Christmas. Christmas was yesterday. And uh, what I'm trying to do now is eat my way out of the house. There's so much food in there I can't get out of the house. Anyhow, I, I'm working on a project. So I'll show you the list. If I haven't lost the list, you know I'm heck on lists. Okay, we'll, we'll, re we'll review it. I got to if you can see it, make a video, empty the wheels, uh, the wheelbarrow full of ashes. I need to cut two boards, and that's what we're back here for now. I just need two boards. I'll show you that in a minute. Put up the plastic. I'm going to show you that in a little bit later. That might be the next movie. I don't know. Check on my solar panels. Make uh, stamps for some boxes that I got, you know, those metal stamps that I got. Uh, I need to put some strings on a couple of those wood crate boxes, the totes cop tops when I put it on the other day I didn't make it I, I've already made the strings but I'll show you that gotta see if this is still in there uh, cover the slab wood this slab wood here while we're back at this area needs to get a cover on it so I, it just doesn't go there's no point in not having a cover for it I got it I just got to bring it up and that doesn't take one of the totes covers that takes a, a metal cover uh, clean up around the sawdust and I still got to fix the sawdust drag in the last video we had a uh, um, the sawdust drag wasn't working, so I, I don't know whether I'll get into that today. That's just some of the stuff I'm going to get into today. Some of it you'll see, some of it you won't. Um, but I'm going to show you. I got to I got to get that uh, leftover poplar. I don't want to cut it cut it any smaller than it is right now, because I might need a board, and you, it's hard gluing them back together, you know. So I have a nice beam there. It's not particularly hurting anything. It's a little bit in the way, so I'm going to bring it down, drag it off. And I got a couple boards over there. We'll take you over there. I got to do two, two trims. I need two eight inch boards, uh, kind of random length until I know exactly. Well, it's on my Palm Pilot before Christmas, but I can't see it anymore. Um, anyhow, so just kind of hang in there. It's just kind of a movie of stuff that I got to get done. And uh oh, here comes my neighbor and his new, <laughs> that, that's funny. He bought one of those uh i forget what it's called but it looks just like a jeep um razor maybe his kubota kept breaking down they couldn't fix it for him so he just bought one of these things that's what he gets through the woods now it's made by people that used to make jeeps back in the war what is it there's the name on the front of it look at that thing getting around it's got heating and air conditioning in it too he's starting to starting to get it up get it going look at this thing got a diesel engine in it but it's... Merry Christmas sometimes you go for the content sometimes the content comes to you this is Penny my worthless day I mean my good neighbor yeah I try to keep you in shape but it's hard to do yeah it's hard to do hard to do well how is that little thing Engine's got a knock in it. Must be a diesel. It is a diesel. Four cylinder diesel, turbo. Turbo. This thing is what everybody wanted in the old Jeeps back in the 50s and 60s, and it's come to permission. Is that what they call the right word? <clears throat> got disc brakes on it too, doesn't it? On the front. Disc brakes. Disc brakes. Air conditioning. Does it have power steering? Power steering. Air conditioning. Diesel motor, so it gets 30 miles to a gallon, but you're not really allowed to take it on the road. No. It, it's considered a off-road off vehicle, but I got a feeling you're going to be able to put them on the road. That, that thing is just too nice. Yeah, and they'll go 60. They'll go 60? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I it. I don't take it out of low, low gear around here. You don't need to. No. Now you just got to get some tires with bite and a snow plow. Yeah. Oh, you know, we, we'll have to look at one of those Jeep trailer hitches for you. Well, I'd rather you look at a bracket for a snowplow. Oh, I meant to do that too. I have, I have them. I don't... You know, John, I don't know why it wouldn't fit right on the front one. Well, no, it's an underneath bracket. The, the lift hooks on the front bumper the way the Jeep used to. But the old Jeeps, we'll go up there and look at it, guys. The old Jeeps didn't have the power steering. And didn't have the winch. Okay. 
So it's got to be a custom made bracket on the front with the uh, winch. And I got one of those in the barn down there. You know, the, the winch, the Jeep with a winch and the snowplow unit are sitting in the barn down there. Yeah, but, but that's not a V-blade. No, you want a V-blade, that's I right. Want a v -blade. Myers doesn't make a V-blade, do they? No. But the bracketry underneath. But well, why you, wouldn't it fit right on the front bumper there, the bracket? Because it has to have more support. That's just a straight. It has to have some kind of it would have to have some kind of gusset back in here. You know, if you, you came up here and then maybe came out and supported it in here and here. Um, well, the, that really, frame goes, that's part of the frame all the way back. Yeah. This is. It needs more than that when you're picking up a heavy blade. Believe me. They got the, the supports in the back hit on the frame in two different areas. But that would be a, for a Myers. So you, you might it might not fit for whatever. But it's good enough for 8,000 pound winch? That's pulling this way. You're going to be pulling this way. So it's different. So, I don't know. Anyhow, I got to get this log off the mill. And uh, then we'll play it, come over and play with that. You can stick around for me. I got to salt. I need two boards. You do. So the best thing, the easiest way to get two boards is go back to the sawmill and make two boards. That's the easiest way to do it. So, guys, I might have a cameraman. <laughs> I ain't much of a cameraman. If you can keep me in the camera, you're good enough for me. You're better than you're better than me. I'm gonna pull that board off. I'll start the blade up, pull that board off, then we're gonna go over and trim those two boards. So that's where we're going, then I'm gonna go play with Penny. I ain't so. playing much. <laughs> Just keep me in the camera. We're gonna start this beast up. doing trims. I'm going to walk around.
he knows what he's doing. Well, he got... Huh? Talking to the camera. Oh, okay. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> when he... When he hears this tape to go publish it tonight, he's going to say, What in the Dickens is he saying? Well, we run to one another but down all the time. But that, that's the greatness of having good neighbors. We have some good neighbors around. John's one of my best neighbors I've ever had. going to say anything more about John because he can hear me now. <laughs> well guys here's what I got. I got two eight inch boards. I think they called for a fascia board on a building up at the front. That The building that I just put the poplar on and we're going to go up there next and uh, Take those up there and I'll show you me putting that uh, greenhouse plastic on a building just to show you how easy it goes up and how easy the wobble wire goes up and all that stuff. So we'll come back in the next one after this. So this is kind of a mini sawmill move. Oh, I forgot to put the carriage under the shed. Oh, dog on it. You know, you're getting old and senile. <laughs> That's normal procedure for you. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> What's nice about this little mill is you can just push this right in. It's not too bad. Tucked away. Tucked away. So. All right, well, I'm going to let you go. All right, well, I'm going to turn this off and come look at your toy more. Look at it more. There ain't much to see. Well. What was what was the name of that Razor? Roxor. Roxor. Guys, if you want to look at some neat stuff on look at some of these and the history of these, they're on uh YouTube, YouTube everywhere. Roxor was its name. And it's a M A H I Mahend Mahendra. 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 Look at that. They're put together. That's the front end that everybody wants on their Jeeps. It's probably got a Dana 44 in the back too. A what? A Dana 44 in the back. That's what came. This thing is I dangled Jeeps, guys, right down to the the hubs. Right down to the hubs. I'll bet they're the same, same as a Jeep hub right there. It depends on whether it's a big spline axle or short ten spline axle. I forget what the bigger ones are. I think we're a 19 spline. But the guy that was talking about them said that they built them first from a blueprint from a Willys. Yep. And they had to. They had, they still had the government gave it to them, so they had the right to build it. Right. Even though Chrysler owned it, they had the right because they were contracted. So they started making them, and next thing you know, you got one. There it is. Look at that little, little turbo diesel. Here's something you don't see see every day. 
Well, I still don't see it every day. What? I thought it said made in America. <laughs> it's put together. There's one up here. So it's all assembled in America. Oh, uh, I thought I saw it someplace. Yeah. That's the name of it. Anyhow, guys, that's it for this one. Do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe button. Thanks for the year, and here's to another good year. See you over and out. Bye.